Okay, yay. So I just got back from California today and I've been sleeping all day. I just woke up like not that long ago. We decided to get some, like, we just decided to get some takeout. And I have steak and cheese sandwich with onion rings and cheese fries. Ooh, this looks so good. Yep, so. Okay. I'm gonna try some cheese fries first. Sandwich is good, baby. Anyway, um, uh, this time it was a little bit like exhausting and going there and stuff. So I didn't really get a chance to do anything like. Well, I mean, we did a lot of stuff, but it maybe it was too much. Like, we didn't get a chance to rest that much compared to last time. Mm. I don't know about like anyone else, but I've always been kind of the black sheep of the family. Like all my cousins and my sister, I feel like they're, they've always been exceptionally smart or excel in academics and stuff and I never did. And plus I was kind of weird. So... I don't know, I guess like being back home kind of makes me feel like that again, you know? I've been using drugs for so long that like that thought hasn't been lingering for, for like a long time, you know? I had other things that I was concerned about. <laughs> But yeah, even at this age, I still feel like I've not matured or like progressed that much whenever I'm back home. I don't know. I just feel like it's not comparing me to my family is just it's just not even fair. <laughs> like, I'm just at a disadvantage, just, you know, in every way, basically. And I don't like being compared to anyone, really. But especially not my family members. Not back then, not now. Sometimes it kind of made me feel a little bit bad. Like, I never personally compare, or like, I don't. I've always wanted to be like them. Like, be like my sister and my cousins and stuff. But I'm just not. I've never been like that. I've never been like a social butterfly or like socially graceful, you know? 
and I never, I guess I never grew out of it. Like I'm still as socially awkward as ever. Or I still don't have any, well, like I had friends growing up, but I don't have friends right now. <laughs> and I haven't had friends for a really long time. I don't count like my, uh, like the people I use drugs with friends, you know what I mean? They're not really. And when I'm here, like just with me and my boyfriend, things feel really good. Like I feel like we we're always making like little progress here and there with you know, just whatever it is. But then when I'm there I just feel like I'm a kid all over again. Like, nobody takes me seriously, like, my opinions just don't matter, maybe. Or they're just not as good or valid as, like, you know, my sister's opinions, for example. You know? And also, like, I don't really... I don't know. I mean, I just hate that society kind of makes you feel like you have to be extroverted, you have to be social. Like, I'm just not. I wish that was okay. Um, oh wait, I took someone's part. I mean, I do, I feel okay, like, with the way things are right now. Maybe later on I might feel like, oh, okay, I want friends or something. I don't know. It's not that I don't want friends. Of course I want to have friends or at least, like, not friends, but just one person that, you know, that you can really connect with that's a friend. But those are hard to find or I'm not even sure if how to find that. <laughs> like my boyfriend's my friend. I feel like I feel like he's that person for me, you know? Um but like, act like to have an actual friend that's not romantic, yeah. It would be nice. Mmm, that was really good. But yeah, I just don't, I really just don't know how to interact with people very well. Like, I never really, I just learned that. Like, before, I mean, I used to try, I would try to put myself out there, kind of, like, in college and stuff. Um, you know, I had friends and stuff, but, like, I always still felt like I was alone. You know what I mean? I don't know why. So, like, even though I knew they were my friends, like, I still didn't really feel like I had any friends. Even in high school, and I grew up with them, you know? You know, like, I just never felt part of anything part of a group or I just didn't know like where to fit in and my family and my friends at school and college at work <laughs> right now and it's getting worse because 
And now that I'm older, I'm becoming invisible. Mm-hmm. It's so weird. I don't know if this happens to men, but like for women at least, maybe men become visible at an early age. So, I don't know, they're used to it. I'm not really sure how it works, but I think for women, like, I feel like I, I've noticed that, I don't know, I'm just, I just feel like I'm not seen. But I mean, I kind of always felt like that, but that wasn't reality i think i think right now is more close to reality where i feel invisible and i kind of am invisible you know invisible mm -hmm. visible. 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 Like, i mean <laughs> what this is like everyone everyone kind of has a family or like they have children you know they're i don't know they're doing like adult things you know i feel like i'm stuck and stunted like i don't know how to be an adult i don't know when that will happen or if it'll happen like i'm a late bloomer you know I guess sometimes if you're too late of a bloomer, you just don't bloom at all. Mm. Is this why people have kids? I don't know. I guess some people really just know what they want. They just want kids. That was my sister. She always knew what she wanted, it seems like. And I always was under the impression that that was something that everyone had to do. Like, everyone had to get married. Everyone had to have that big wedding that gave me fucking major anxiety thinking about it when I was, like, a kid. And have kids and all that shit. I mean, not that I don't want kids, but I mean, I was kind of feeling like this before leaving too, feeling invisible and whatnot, but my sister has always been, not just my sister, but my family, they've always seemed so much more adult than me and like they've always had th had their shit together. that I was somehow missing some sort of information, like key information that they knew about. Um, I just didn't know what it was. I still don't really know. And honestly, like, I think it's fine that they're that way and I'm this way. That doesn't bother me, it's just, it bothers me that I feel like society doesn't accept people like me, so, I mean, it's easy to, like, I don't know, I just feel like, yeah, society rewards very extroverted people or people who know how to socialize and be friendly and stuff like that, but... I guess people who are a little like weird, it's a little harder. Not just weird, but awk socially awkward and very introverted. And have like a lot of anxiety and stuff. I just, I don't know. I just wish it was, I wish 
it was okay to be this way and like not have that be a problem I swear I feel like that's always been a problem for me whether it was my ex-boyfriend who would say something like oh I need to socialize more and you go out blah blah, blah. like I just didn't want to you know or even my parents my mom like I don't know I just I feel like the people around me that were not my friends they would make me feel like there's something wrong with me just because I just don't want to be around people all the time like or because of, of the way that I am I mean this is just how I am I don't know how to change that um, I really don't know if I care to change that like I just want to be accepted But then I also realized, like, in real life, honestly, it doesn't, it doesn't help to be this way, like, at all, socially. Um, depending on what job you have, you know, but it affects everything, like, financially, your career, I guess, friendships and stuff. Um, but I'm kind of glad that I don't have friends I was saying because a part of me feels like if I did I would be very easily peer pressured into like just following the norm and just getting married and having kids just to just because everyone else is and I don't want to be left behind <laughs> <laughs> sorry it was kind of depressing but i'm tired and like i kind of had a hard two weeks it was a little bit hard <laughs> it was good though like i loved being there but it was hard um at times anyway yeah i'm gonna go now hopefully you guys are having a good sunday i guess Oh man, tomorrow is Monday. I don't want to work tomorrow. But anyway, yeah. Um, there's some stuff I gotta figure out. And hopefully I can just get it over with and do things that I have to do. Um, but yeah. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye.